What's up, guys? Tug Daddy Slim. Fuck Master Push. Here with a new guest, uh, glass blower Luke Wilson. You guys all know, you guys have seen glass on the show before. Yeah. Um, we're just going to talk about a couple of the pieces that uh, we got here in front of us, go over a couple questions um, that I'm guessing the viewers would probably have. Um, so basically what we have here is we have a good old 15 arm uh, bubbler here, kind of one of your staple pieces, would you say? Yeah, pretty much. Just a little modified from the beginning. But, yeah. yeah. You can see the mouthpiece is switched up, kind of like a mini mini tube style mouthpiece. It's got the recessed joint right there. I hit chubs the other day and I liked it a lot. What is this other piece over here? Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Um, this one's just basically a mini 10 arm. Downstem 29 32mm bushing joint and uh, to a 15 arm reinforced a tree in the second chamber. Um, it's one of my favorite styles of pieces. I have a little bit modified filter that I prefer. I do an 18 arm vertical cut infuser and a Venetian state shape. Uh, that downstem is so clean. I appreciate the Venetian shapes. That's where I basically started with. Um, I appreciate. I appreciate both kinds of perks. Actually, you know, I've done some peyote style and some sword style perks. I I like the the arms. There's this one my preferred uh, smoking method. You know, it's, it's all comes down to personal preference. I don't think about it. It is doing soft glass. And or gives yeah, it like a more unique time. look, you know? Yeah. How many arms are on that There's a 10 on that one. I just recently started doing it with the 18 arms and doing vertical diffusers rather than horizontal. And the joint on that thing is just a fucking beast. How thick is that glass right there on the joint? Probably 10 millimeter, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. It's like that yeah. thick, guys. It's nuts. It's like not one of those downstairs you get to break at the joint. I'm kind of more of a common and staple in this size of piece. So. Yeah, but definitely. What uh, what kind of what's how many arms up top? What do we got there? This is a 15. 15. So basically, this is a, a mini beaker, about 10 to 15. Um, that up stem is huge too. It's also a collab piece. What's the collab on this? It's a BMF. BMF collab. I like the sand blasting on this. Yeah, it's carved deep. It's got a yeah. Like, really, really symmetrical, all super clean. Yeah, no flaws or misblasts anywhere from what I've found so far, so I'm, I'm happy with his work. Yeah, yeah. Good job. With the matching dome, the little re right here is pretty cool. Let's go. So, how'd you get into blowing glass, like, originally? Um, Where did you start out? I wanted to make bombs, pretty much. My parents always broke my stuff, and <laughs> yes, it's kind of like, you know, I'm, I was always poor and working at like, Taco Bell or Del Taco or, you know, fast food joint. I didn't have much money. I'd go to Venice Beach and go buy a cheap piece and get home and last a week before they smashed it. <laughs> when I came of age, I was like, well, you know, I'm going to do my own stuff now. I took soft glass class, didn't realize that you couldn't make bombs and pipes in the soft glass class. So. Just moved on from there, but I learned a lot from that and you know, made me appreciate it a lot more. Yeah. You definitely got skill, bro. It's one of the biggest names pretty much in um in glass blowing right here. Definitely. Pretty much the biggest name in the arm game, if sure. that's if that's how you wanna put it. These two pieces are right here pretty badass. I kinda wanna ask you like what do you think is the main first piece you made that kinda like put your name out there, like got you on the map? You know, was it like the 15 arm, or was it like one of your older pieces? Or what do you think? Or or um, what were you working on around the time you think people really started to take recognition? I think like uh, was doing the perk locks and stuff like that. Yeah. Sherlock shape with a percolator on top. And at that time, I was doing a real spaced out three or four arm tree perk, like the old school rollers and stuff. And I figured out a new method of how to assemble it. And Get the arms and everything in tighter and look a lot cleaner. Where did you put on the map? Like 2000? When I first started blowing glass, how do you mean? Or? Yeah, or when you like. Yeah, or probably about 2001 is when I started in Borough. I don't think I got really any kind of good recognition until like four or five years. But, uh, so it took I, a lot of work. 
Yeah, you know, it, it is for everybody to begin with, and it takes a long time to establish yourself, and I'm very grateful and I'm very lucky. Yeah, one of my buddies actually had one of your old school pieces that I hit probably like five or six years ago, but that was the first time I'd seen your shit, but I definitely noticed in the last like three, four years, especially your name popping up a lot more places, a lot more of your shit's around, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I really do appreciate that a lot. It really motivates me to try more elaborate projects and collaborations with these people. Who, it's so good when you see. It's intimidating to go and work with another artist who is such high caliber and you look up to them, you know, almost. They're more than just a peer to you a lot of the time. It's really cool though. Yeah, it's cool when you get to see how jacked up people get when when they hear that you're collabing with somebody or they see pictures of the collab that you did, you know what I mean? As far as like, you know, like your glass blowing fans out there, um, I know just a lot of times Aqualab will put up pictures on Facebook or whatever and people will just blow up, oh, you know what I mean? Lou Wilson killed that shit, oh, like, you know, Derek, you fucking dominated that shit, you know what I mean? People get jacked up over seeing sick glass, even if they can't even see it in hand and check it out in person. Yeah, and my hat's off to Aqualab, they take some awesome pictures and they represent glass art as well, they yeah. support as well, so. Oh yeah, man. Alright guys, well uh, for the CCC, it's been uh, Toke Daddy Slim with Luke Wilson and Funkmaster Fish. So, uh, peace out.